Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So we are, oh wow, that's crooked. We are here for a video from my creative year. If you have found this video mysteriously somehow on my YouTube channel, because it is posted unlisted on YouTube for the people over in the Facebook group. Um, and if you found it, you don't know what my creative year is and you wanna join, as I just said, it is a Facebook art and support group, and we share inspiration and ideas, encourage daily practice and all of that stuff. So if you would like to join, the link is in the description below. I would appreciate supporting the free content here on YouTube and over in those Facebook art groups by shopping in my Etsy shop, um, making a donation on the PayPal tip jar, joining Patreon, YouTube membership, something, that would be great. Um, also, I would encourage you to support other creative that, creatives that supply you with free content um, on all of the plat different platforms. If you can't figure out how to support them financially, um, ask them, they probably have a way. Um, we would certainly all appreciate that. So. That all being said, today we are going to get started with creating a little painting uh, for my creative year for June um, using our muted um, gouache palette that we created in our last video, which was this one, which I'll link in the description below. And before we get started, I'm gonna turn an extra light on because yeah, it's a little dark and shadowy for me. So hang on. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we talked about in the beginning of the month what our inspiration was for the month. This whole year for 2020, we're working on color and experimenting with color, whether we are painting or you're doing collage or mixed media, or as you can see by some of the stuff that's on my fabric, on my table, fabric. So you don't just have to carry over the idea for the colors for each month to painting and mixed media. I've been working on slow stitching and using the idea of muted colors to work on. This is a slow stitch fabric book that I'm currently working on. And so I want you to think outside the box and with what you're gonna do with your colors and or the daily art word prompts that we have. I do daily drawings, but you could do something else. I want you to share. Maybe you wanna take photographs, muted color photographs, photographs inspired by the daily word. Um, I would love to have you share what you're doing in the group. Um, and again, if you're not in the group, the link is in the description below. Okay, that all being said, um, we are gonna use our muted palette to create a little painting here on this side. I've already taped off my page in my book um, with some painter's tape, and we're gonna paint over in this square. I've done it with two squares for a reason, but that's gonna be explained in a different video. Um, that will initially go up for patrons over on Patreon and um, explained at a later date here on YouTube. So if you want to know what that's going to be all about, you have to go over to Patreon. Um, so anyway, let's get started. I'm going to speed forward through my process. Hopefully you find it inspiring and I'll be right back.
let's take some of the tape off. So I'm gonna to wanna to leave some of the tape on because I wanna paint the other side, but we're gonna take some off so that you guys can see. Again, this is painter's tape, just regular painter's tape from the hardware store. Nothing special. It's this thin stuff that's about an inch wide. When you're working in journals, the thinner one is better. There we go. So there's our muted painting. So what do you think? I would love to see what you've done this month with muted colors, um, whether you're in the Facebook group or not, um, and um, experiment with painting. All right, that's it for today. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I appreciate your support very much, and I will be back in the next video.